y'all this is Jamie welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be doing a review and lip swatches for the Ulta Beauty lip glossary 16 piece lip vault this is one of their holiday collections but before we get into that question of the day what is your favorite shade of lipstick let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video every monday wednesday and friday give this a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right so it is the holiday season guys which means that a lot of brands are coming out with their holiday kits their holiday collections so Ulta Beauty every year comes out with some kind of lip vault in which they put a mixture of their different lip products all in the same vault they're usually mini sized I did actually do a review and lip swatch video of their lip glossary a couple of years back and I really enjoyed it and I really liked it I wanted to do that again this year and it's such a good deal you get 16 lip products for $18. So in this vault, we have four tinted lip oils, four lip glosses, four matte liquid lipsticks, and then four lip stains for a total of 16 lip products. Very excited to try these out. I don't think I've ever tried Ulta's lip stains. And of course, Ulta Beauty is cruelty free. As I said before, this is $18. It's a cute little box. I like how it looks. I definitely like this better than the lip glossary I tried before. I think it would definitely make a cuter gift. So let's go ahead and get into these lip swatches. All right, so those were all of the swatches review time. So we have four different formulas right here. We have the tinted lip oil, the lip stain, the liquid lipstick, and then the lip gloss. So the first one that I tried on was the lip gloss. I'm gonna talk about the lip gloss and the tinted lip oil kind of at the same time. It was really weird because usually when I put on a lip oil, it's very thin, it's very light, and then lip glosses are usually a little thicker, a little heavier on the lips, and a bit gloopy at times. These formulas were switched. It was really weird because the lip gloss formula was actually very thin, it was very light on the lips, 
whereas the tinted lip oil felt more like a gloopy gloss. So I actually didn't like the lip oils as much. It may just be because I was wanting them as a lip oil because I love lip oils and they actually have a juice infused lip oil, Ulta Beauty does, that is my absolute favorite. These very much felt like a thick gloss instead of a lip oil, whereas the lip glosses felt like a lip oil. I keep forgetting Ulta never names their shades in these lip glossaries. It looks like all of the glosses have at least some type of shimmer or glitter to them. Those are my thoughts on the lip gloss and the tinted lip oil. I definitely preferred the feel of the gloss. Now, I liked how the lip oil looked on the lips. It made my lips look super juicy, full. I actually really liked it. So the lip stain, I was a little concerned. I thought I might have to film these on a different day. They do definitely stain your lips. After I applied that last lip stain, I did let it sit on my lips for no more than like 30 seconds. And then I blotted a little bit with a tissue. And then I actually took a cotton round that had micellar water on it and I did wipe my lips and there was still a definite stain that was left over from that last shade. It stained them a little more evenly than some of the other lip stains that I've tried out, so I did like that about it as well. The only thing about these is that I think on the lips, all of the shades kind of looked the same. They all had this like slightly reddish, like you had just eaten like a cherry lollipop. But other than that, I really liked them, and I think that's probably one of the best lip stains that I've tried. And finally for the liquid lipsticks. So I am wearing the second to last shade of the liquid lipsticks. So this one right here is what I am wearing on my lips right now. I, I really like these. I like how they applied. They were very comfortable to apply. The only one that I had a bit of a hard time with as far as even placement was the last one. This was the kind of like purple mahogany <laughs> shaded one. Also, these shades look a lot redder on camera than they do in real life. This one is a little more correct, but like this one looked so red on camera and it even does in the tube, it looks more red on camera, but in real life it's a bit more purple, like a fuchsia shade. But other than that, I actually really like this formula. It's mostly dried. It's been probably about seven or eight minutes since I applied this one and it is mostly dry and it is already, I guess it is all the way dry. It's transfer proof. I really like this. I like this shade. I think it's very flattering. It's very comfortable on the lips. My lips don't feel too dry. My lips don't feel fuzzy. I feel like with some liquid lipsticks, when they dry, my lips feel very fuzzy. This like barely feels like there's anything on my lips. As far as formula, the lip gloss was probably my favorite followed by the liquid lipstick, then the lip stain, and then the tinted lip oil. So, but I still liked all of these. I think if you have somebody in your family or in your friend group who loves lip products, I think they will definitely enjoy this. I think it is well worth the price as well. 16 shades for $18. I would definitely recommend the Ulta Beauty Lip Glossary Lip Vault. All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Remember, question of the day, what is your absolute favorite color lip product? Leave that in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.